as a soldier, you can be sent to any area of the world. It may be in temperature, tropical, arctic, or subarctic region. You expect to have all your personal equipment in your unit or other members of your unit with you wherever you go, but there is no guarantee. You could find yourself alone in the remote area, possibly human territory, with little or no personal gear. Many survival cases history show that stubborn, strong willpower can conquer many obstacles. One case history tells of a man stranded in the desert for eight days without food or water. He had no survival training. He had nothing, did nothing right. But he wanted to survive, and through sheer willpower, he did survive. With training, equipment, and the will to survive, you will find you can overcome any obstacle you may face. You will survive. Two things that you can do now to help you prepare are 1. Train for survival in different environments and 2. Learn about the area where you are going. Learn how to find and get food and water. How to use natural environmental features for shelter, how to build shelter, how to determine direction, and how and when to travel through different types of terrain. You should learn how to maintain your health, how to avoid environmental hazards, and how to doctor yourself. Most important, you should learn that the risk can be more valuable than speed. Whether you are struggling through jungle undergrowth, facing a dwelling water supply in a desert, or making your way across the Arctic guys, you should plan to make your way carefully. Do not dash blindly on. You should learn about the natives in your areas. Where you expect to go, this knowledge and common sense will enable you to make contact with them. If you reach an area where the natives are not allied with the enemy, you will have little to fear and much to gain. By thoughtful contact with them, by knowing their customs in advance and being courteous by their standards, you may be able to get their help. Learning about the different environments, how to get food and water, how to take care of yourself is not enough. However, you must have the right attitude. That is, you must accept the fact that as a soldier you may find yourself in a survival situation for an extended period of time, along with minimal equipment. You must understand that this situation could come about without warning and you must be prepared. If you have the opportunity, go through a survival school in which you can train and practice your skills before they really count. The training you receive will give you confidence in yourself. If you are spent in applying what you learn, finding that it works, finding that you can accomplish things that previously seemed impossible will remove any doubt, your personal ability is the mania. I wanted to give y'all a brief little survival tip, sir. I don't know much, but I figured y'all got tired of hearing my vlogs. So, I'm gonna stop uh, doing less vlogs, do some more stuff that might actually help y'all in the future. I'm not sure how you want to be on YouTube in survival situations, but you know, better than nothing, right? Maybe you can watch this enough and decide what you want to do with so. it. I think I look alright today. Got my orange hat, my camo. Peace out, y'all.